Alright, welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to make a TNT that you can carry, put it, place it down, hit it and blow things up and then it will respawn back to its location so you can use it again. Uh, it will also damage the player if the player is too close if you want it that way or just enemies or things like that. So let's get started. We'll bring out our TNT and we're going to give it a health component. Uh, and we also want it to be pickable, so the player can pick it up. We'll give it one health, so the TNT will die pretty much straight away. Um, also, we want it to respawn to tag when it dies. So we'll say tnt.respawn. Uh, we'll give it a two second delay, so it doesn't die straight away. It gives the player a chance to run away. We don't want to see its health. Um, and the respawn here, we will make one. Uh, we'll put it over here. We'll just put a blank asset. I like to use the numpad. Get rid of the behaviors and components and just give it a tag TNT respawn. So when a TNT dies, it will spawn over here. Let's test that out. There we go. And it's pickable. You can pick it up, move it around. And when it dies, it goes back to its respawn. Fantastic. So it does what we want it to do. Now we want it to damage anything that's around the TNT. Um, so we need a message broadcaster for that. So we'll go ahead and bring out a numpad and we'll make that a message broadcaster. Get rid of the indicator on it. Edit logic. Now I don't know if you know this, but there are two inbuilt messages. There is damage and it is heal. So if you type in damage double dot and then a number it will do that damage to whatever tags or everything on the map so we'll go ahead and put in damage 50 uh, we're gonna do everything in range and we will do four okay excellent now we're gonna wait for a message before it sends the message to damage everything in in the circle around it so uh, we can do that by killing the TNT box and sending the message. So we can do TNT dot damage, and that will be the message that gets sent when the main TNT dies. It will send a message TNT dot damage to a tag. You need to have the tag in here uh, to TNT dot damage. So we'll go ahead and select our message broadcaster. We'll give it the tag tnt.damage and the message required is tnt.damage. Awesome. Now if we test that and we go ahead and hit that we should take 50 damage. Ah, there we go, perfect. But if we hit it now, we're not gonna get 50 damage because the message broadcast is all the way over here and it's not following our TNT. But if we hit the TNT and walk over to it, it will damage us because it's over here. But that's not what we want, we want it to follow the TNT. So we'll go ahead and say, we'll rename this to TNT main and we'll go ahead and select this one and rename it to TNT uh, damage. So this is the thing that causes the damage and that's the main. If we go to our hierarchy in our bottom left corner and type in TNT, it will bring up all the um, assets that have TNT in its main. In this case, we want to parent the TNT damage to the TNT main. So now it is attached together. So when we move the TNT main, the message broadcaster comes with us. But when we destroy the TNT, you can see we took no damage uh, and it's teleported it over here and now the damage only happens here. It doesn't behave the way we want it to, right? So we need a few adjustments. How do we do this? So what's happening? So the TNT dies. It sends the message to do the damage to the message broadcaster, but at the same time, it's respawning back to its tag. So it's taking the message broadcaster back to the spawn point before it sends the message to damage. 
It's not what we want. All right, so how do we fix this? We're going to go ahead and duplicate this TNT. We'll bring it over here so you can see the difference. We're going to rename it to TNT Trigger. So it's not our main one. It's not the Tigger over. Let me fix that. TNT Trigger. Now, it won't be pickable. We don't want it to be pickable. We also want it to die, but we want it to die faster than our main one. So our main one dies at two seconds. Uh, we're gonna kill it in 1.8, okay? So it's faster. And we want it to respawn on top of this. So TNT respawn.main. So what we do is we copy this tag and we put it on our main TNT over here. So what happens is this TNT is gonna die faster than this TNT. When it does die, it's gonna respawn on top of the main TNT. And wherever the main TNT goes, it's gonna take it with it. So, um, so now when our TNT trigger dies, it's gonna send a message to the message broadcaster to damage the player. So we don't need our main one to do that. We'll go ahead and delete that on our main. So our, when our main dies, it's not sending that message. Awesome. And also, if you notice the message broadcaster was killing our TNT, uh, because our TNT has health on it, and the message broadcaster is killing everyone in range. We don't want that. We want to kill specific tags in range. One of those tags will be your avatar. Uh, if you want to kill specific enemies, uh, you put the NPC and then you put the NPC or tag on your enemies or whatever the case may be here. So uh, this one here, um, now we make this one invisible and we also want to parent it. So type in TNT in your hierarchy, grab your trigger and put it on your main. And now we put that on top and make sure it is all snapped together. And also take a message broadcaster. We'll put it on top so you can see it being traveled. Um, so let's test this. Now when we carry it around, we can damage the TNT. It will give us 50 damage and it takes everything over here. You can go ahead and damage it again and it kills us because we're doing 50 damage. It works exactly the way we want it. We just put the message broadcaster in a box so you can't see it, and there you go. You have your portable TNT that can destroy you, all enemies around, um, and yeah. And if you don't want to get hit, you can just run away. Done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day.